Welcome back, people. Um, I've got a problem with with writing uh, handwriting the descenders because the descenders, when I started to write and do some text within like a body of text or a sentence, I found that the descenders were uh, the next line of text would run into the descenders from the line above. I'm thinking there's got to be a better way than do, doing that. So if you look at, um, and this is what's why I've called it handling ascenders and descenders, okay? Handling ascenders and descenders. Well, let's have a look at the what they call in the book, this line of beauty, if you like. And I put that here uh, and it's like a line somewhere where all the ovals will come to. And you've got to leave enough room for your, for your ascenders above what about descenders if you're writing in a simple notepad like this or, an, or a blank piece of paper like this that's it lined what about the descenders what are the rules about descenders and then writing the next line of text below that do you run into those descenders do you bypass them and split the word up or Go, uh, try your best not to pick the right word. You, you can't do that when you're writing, you're going for it. You're, you're going to run into the next line, aren't you, with, with the descenders. So it's a, to me, it's a major problem. So let's have a look at, at the ascenders and put them in. So we've got the B. They've got the B here, right? So let's put the, the B as an as a ascender in and see how they write it. And let, let's let's do that. So the, it comes, if you can see this, I'll bring it down a bit more so you can see it a bit more. Let's put the B in. So we're going to put the B in. We're going to go up, down and around and over. So, and you have a little little loop there. And we're going to go to the top of the foot of that line. So up, a little loop, you're going to come back and then you're ready to do the next line. That is a, a lowercase b. And we've kept within this line setting here between these two lines we've kept between them two lines that's great now let's do the d we go with the upstroke we do a nice thing we're going to come up, up and we're going to come up again we're keeping within that line like it forget the f that's a that is an uppercut that's an that's a, a thing that goes ascender and a descender we're going to look at the next one which is h so h is going to go above this line of beauty. So if you imagine this line of beauty being here, all the way across, the F goes like, not the F, sorry, the H does, does that too. So you're going to come up a little loop, you're going to come back on yourself and call that. That's your H, again, keeping within that line. The next one out with the ascend up, ascend it is the K. So we can do again, the K can come up, we're going to come back up. We're going to push this up and down and back around. That's your K. Uh, you've got the L that goes up from an upstroke. And then you form the next one through. And then the next one over is, you could almost say it's the T. So the T does do this. It does go higher than normal and you come over. And then you form the next letter. But then you also put your crossbar in after a bit like the I, you cross the T's and cross the I's. Remember that from when I get round to me thingy. Other than that, they are basically all your uh, letters that are going to go above, if you like, this centre point here. So let's put those letters in this, this one I've called um, the dotted line inside the line itself. So let's zoom in a little bit closer for you so you can see it. So let's put them in. Let's put the B in. So it goes up to the top. Okay. It forms this. It comes around to this. And there's your B. Perfect. Let's do the D. So it comes up. You form a little loop. I've done that wrong. You should have formed that, that thing first. Okay. That, I might have to do that one again. Let's do that again. What happened there? I know. And you come up and then down, forming the next letter. Okay, there it is. H, let's put that in. Let's put the L in. 
and we may as well do the T because let's face it it doesn't go all the way to the top of the line but it does go above the line so there's your T that's great isn't it all your ascenders have got no problem it's when you start when you want to write the next line of text below these it's the descenders so what are the descenders so let's put uh if you can see this on on i'll just zoom out a little bit and we're going to do the next line i'm going to put them again to say that's the top and that's the bottom the descenders with the problems are the f so let's put the f in and show you the problem so you, you start with an upstroke you come down you bring it down then you put your crossbar in you've run that line now below that line that's your problem the g you could start with an upstroke you come up to the line of beauty and then you come back in again you're going below that line your j is up you're going to come down and around and then you're going to put that in okay then your p is also going to come to the line of beauty and then you do that the q is going to come up like well, you do the upstroke first don't you the upstroke for the q is this and then you go down and back up to do, get the next stroke the y is the same the y goes up you come around you come down under the line and again you've got this problem of these descenders running into the next line if i wanted to write text and the next line below this if i'm using this pad they these are going to be a problem aren't they these uh descenders are going to be a major problem in writing the next line of text if i want to write it in that line there so let's put those descenders um into here right so let's put the descenders in uh let's put the f in we're going to come up we're going to come down and then you put your crossbar again you can see it's running run into the line up below it let's put it into let's put the g in so that comes down it's got to come down to that point then we do the j which then sits like this and that sits there hopefully you can see that then we'll do the p which then starts with an upstroke comes down even if you do it like this then you come off do the q it's got to come down and over we do the y see what i mean it runs into that line of beauty and that's not right to me that's not right so i fixed it i think i fixed it see what you think see if you if you like what i do let me do another little line of beauty because I've, I've I, I didn't intend to do that but okay let's do another line of beauty uh these are eight millimeters so if i mark it off at four millimeters you aren't going to do this when you're handwriting you're just going to um you're just going to go for it aren't you, you know what i mean you're just going to go for it but then i'm going to mark this one off you can see that i'm going to mark this one off hopefully you can see that at four millimeters because that's where the line of beauty is i'm then going to put my ruler across those two dots to form the la the dashed line again okay just gently and then i'm going to describe to you how i have fixed having descenders so hopefully get rid of this boot now we don't need that get rid of him hopefully you can see that line of beauty you can just see it and the idea is i want to try and keep these descenders inside the line so i can write below it and above it if i need to so there is my top of my line okay and there's the bottom of my line and then this is my line of beauty let's go for the f so that's pretty easy to fix people very easy to fix instead of going below the line you're going to do this instead you're going to come up from an upstroke you're going to come down and stop on the line and then form your crossbar and that's the, that's my f okay now the next one out which is very easy to fix is the j you're going to come up 
to the line of beauty, you're going to come down and come out and then put a dot in. And to me, that is a J. The L, just to, the L and the I to this is different. So this would be the L, wouldn't it? With a little loop and out. The I would be the same, be at, and that will be the I. So this is a J, isn't it? So F, J is sorted. F and J are sorted. We need to now fix the G, the P, the Q and the Y because they are tough. So my how I'm going to fix the G is, I mean, you could do it like this. You're going to come up on the upstroke and form it like the, the other choice you could do it is come up. Form the, the, the G at the top. And then start it like that, but keeping within the lines. Do you know what I mean? Or you could come up from the upstroke and just do this. Yeah. And then your, your pen is at the bottom of that G, capital G, waiting for the next stroke above. Then as you cross, if you're going to cross the I and after and cross the T's after, why not cross the G after? Then you're doing a capital G every time, but you're keeping within the lines. That was one option. So you got, you're either going to do this, which is this. Yeah, and then go into the A and then into the T and then to the E and then you do a G. But that's keeping within the lines. I don't want any descenders. Or you might gate this way, which is you come up, you come up. The A to the T to the E. And you're writing gate inside the letter, inside the lines. Do you know what I mean? Uh, P is a problem. I mean, you could come up for the P and down, lift the pen, do this, lift the pen, and then start, and then do your, the, the words after. But that means keeping that P within the line. I think that's the only option. And to keep that momentum going and your handwriting style keep going without taking that descender below the line, that's the only option you've got with the P. The Q, again, is, the, is, a, is an upstroke to an O, right? But then you go to the next letter from that point and then you come round and then you come up. And then after, if you're going to cross the... Cross Dot the I's, cross the T's, and also dot the, uh, is it J? Yeah. If you're going to dot the J's after that as well and call that J inside, which is this one, you may as well do a, 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 the O bit and make that a Q. Do you know what I mean? So I think Q's okay. Y is a, is a bit of a problem. I mean, it's, I've gone right over the prop. But Y is a problem, isn't it? Because Y's always sit on the line. You could do a capital Y, but a capital Y at the end of a letter, at end of a word, I don't like that. So the other alternative I've got is you come up for the Y, yeah? And you just keep it within the line. That's the only other alternative, not unless somebody else has got one. Because your pen itself, if you think about if the word you, yeah, it's actually in the right position to start the next letter anyway. So come up. And there it is. But you're keeping that in within that line, within the lines of this, allowing me then to carry on writing below it. Do you know what I mean? So these descend the descender problem of um, the F, the G, the J, the P, the, the Q and the Y are a problem. And I think I got round it in the sense of keeping it within that line, this line here, and also keeping that beauty. It's having it in your brain. Ah, I'm writing two Fs here. So that's right. That's, if you look at the last video, I wrote fluffy and that had descenders and ascenders in it so let's write fluffy inside this line here so it starts with an f 
Can you see that? Only just. Let's start with the F. So it comes up. We're going to have to lift our pen off. That comes up for the L, that then goes to the F, that then goes to another F, that then goes to another F, that then goes to fluff, fluff, I can't spell fluffy now, <laughs> fluff, fluffy, so yeah, it goes to an, is it an E or a Y? I can't spell fluffy, shit, fluff, so it's just a Y, isn't it, it comes to a Y. Again, I've done it wrong. See, it it's tough. It really is. Let's try that one again. That's that wise wrong, isn't it? I'll try again. Fluffy. Yeah, spelling that right. There's the F that then lift your pen. That forms the L that then forms the U that then forms another F with which I'm going to lift. I'm going to do this. And then lift. And again, I've done it wrong. It needs to come up. And arrive for the Y. It's tough, isn't it? I'll try one more. I mean, instinct was to go down there again. It's tough to get that instinct out. If you want to keep writing that letter. Right. F. Lift the pen. That forms the L. That forms the U. That then forms the another F that forms another F that then forms the Y. I mean, it, it sort of works and it stays within that line. The Y is a problem, isn't it? The only way to do it is this, isn't it? That's the only way to do the Y. Without, without bringing it down into this point here. It's a tough conundrum to come around and, and try and fix. But when you start writing bodies of text and you've got all these descenders going on, I think I'm happy with the, I'm happy with the F version because it's there and it, it sort of works. You can see it working with the word fluffy. Yeah. So it is working. The F does work. I think the, uh, the J works which is, if you remember, this version. So it comes up, you're going to come down, a little turn, and you put that in. Because that's different to the L. The, that's the L, okay? This is the I, because then you're going to put a dot in. So this is the J, isn't it? J sorted. The G, the only other choice is to do this thing, which is the capital G. The P, I'm going to have to lift the pen and do this version for the P. The Q, I think that's the alternative is for this version, which is upstroke to the O to the next letter and then come back in and, and do that version. This one here. Yeah, that one. I don't know, people. Hopefully, I've dis helped you in solving that problem of of not going below that line, getting rid of the descenders, not that one, <laughs> not that one. Yeah, so trying to keep it within the lines is was my goal, so that I then can write below it, and hopefully, people, you agree or have any suggestions on how to sort this conundrum out and this problem I'm facing, because. When I want to write the, the next line of text below that line, I'm having issues. So hopefully, people, this has helped you and you can try this yourself when you start writing below that line and running into descenders. So, people, thanks for watching. And if you have any suggestions or um, ideas of how to solve these issues better than I have, uh, leave them below and I'll look forward to reading your comments and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.